Well, we're back with another video. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different style. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be beating on Brandon's square body or, or any of my trucks. Um, one of my buddies called me. He said he had a turbo, uh, well, a compressor housing, I should say. Um, he asked me if I could polish it. I've done a couple of these. I'm no professional, but we're going to give it a go. So we'll just jump right into it. Here's the compressor housing. I think this is a... I think it said somewhere right there. Yeah. Pretty sure this is an 88 millimeter. Brand new cover. Um, if you don't know Paul from Interstate Diesel Performance, you probably have seen videos of his truck exploding multiple turbos. Um, <laughs> Um, so this, I believe, is a replacement cover for his one of his mini race trucks. So we have this port and polish kit. Uh, I think you can get these on Jags or eBay, Amazon, somewhere in there. Um, comes with multiple little cartridges, grits, um, these little things. Pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to use that. We're gonna start and use that to get in up in here and get all this get these casting marks out and then we'll move to bigger tools and as you can see here somebody's already sanded and ground on that um, we'll start with a lower grit and try to knock all that out and uh, slowly work our way up so without further ado let's get into it okay so this is 80 grit on the drill and we're just gonna start here that's where I like to start and just keep going until it's sand it out Okay, so for this part, um, we have our DeWalt grinder. There's a part number if you guys want to order one of these. You can use this for sanding. Um, once you get to the polishing part, you can use these airways. Um, I have some metal attachments, but you can use these airways, and that's what you use for cutting and polishing it once you get your sanding all finished. So we have some 120 grit on here. I kind of cut it to fit because I ordered the wrong size. My bad. Um, I'm going to throw some gloves on. I've got my dust mask. I'm going to put in some earplugs. And we're just going to go to town. Pretty much sand this until um, all the texture has gone. You can see that spot I hit right there already. So let's get into it. So if you're somebody that wants to do this yourself, just be warned. It's a time consuming, not extremely easy process, unless there's some way that I'm not sure about. But the way that I've done it, all these times, I've probably done 15 of these. It takes some time. So be ready for that if you're gonna get into it. Um, so this is looking pretty good right here. There's um, a couple really deep pits. Uh, but for the most part, that's looking pretty good. So we're going to take care of that in there and get this knocked the rest of the way out. 
finish this and then uh, we'll move on to the next grit. sanded down. Um, I sanded this spot with 600 grit on a less than ideal Milwaukee DA. Um, then I hit it with cutting wheel and compound just to get a test spot. Not terrible but not ideal so we're gonna do some more sanding and check back again. So everything's sanded and pretty much 600, um, except for like the inside edge, whatever you want to call it. Um, so flip the camera around. Besides like in here, um, but the outer is all sanded 600 grit. So I jumped from 180, 240 to 600. This metal's really soft, so sometimes you can get away with it. That's why I'm doing test spots. So here's our, uh, test spot and I'd say that looks pretty good keep in mind that's just a cut so I'm pretty happy with that I'm just gonna cut the entire thing if we see any spots that need touch up go back and sand those and then hit them again with the cutting wheel and just keep working at it until it looks good these little uh pretty much equivalent of like scotch bright um, got this bag they come in different grits so like brown is the highest the lowest grit i guess There's red which is equivalent to like a red scotch bright There's gray and a green um you can put these in a dremel they work pretty good to get in these areas so i'm gonna use that just Clean this up, and then we'll uh, get it as high as we can, and then we'll polish that. Forgot to mention that earlier, so we'll do that. perfect but I'd say it looks pretty dang good good enough for me this is the cleanest I've ever been after polishing something usually I'm completely black but yeah um, if this video helped if you enjoyed it uh, leave a comment like let me know if you like this style of video uh, I'm not opposed to doing more how-to, hands-on type of stuff. I'm no professional, but I, I made it shiny, so. Yeah.
Yay! Yay! Uh, yeah, that's probably it for this one. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see you later.